And we're back, 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 pack. We're back. And we are talking about the live paint tool. Uh, if we look at our artboard, what I currently have here, you're going to notice this big random shape <laughs> that looks like it's in the middle of the artboard. But it's not a random shape. It's actually a collection of shapes. I just happen to overlap them all <clears throat> on top of each other. They're just stacked that way. And pretty much it's a bunch of circles and rectangles. The reason I did this is because when you use the live paint tool, the live paint tool allows you to paint sections that intersect with one another. So it paints it almost as if there's a division in your actual artwork. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight. And actually, if you don't have anything on your board yet, I suggest taking the time, maybe pause the video or watch it and then come back and do this along with me. But take a bunch of shapes, ellipses, circles, rectangles, rounded rectangles, whatever the case may be. Place them all on your board, but make sure a lot of them overlap one another. And then select all of them. Command A or Control A on your keyboard. And you'll notice that you can see every area where this overlaps. Now, right now, it's just a bunch of shapes. It's not a live paint at this moment. So we're going to go to our tools panel. And again, yours may be on the actual left-hand side. I put mine here for space consolidation. And you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 down on your first column. So ninth row, first column, or the ninth, uh, what would that be, the uh, 19th, or the 18th, 17th, the 17th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, the 17th icon on your first column if it's in a single column layout and you would select that and then what you would do is you can pick and choose whatever color you want and I'm picking a yellow and then I'm gonna go over my image and I'm just gonna click on one of these areas and when I click it you'll notice it changes just that area not the overall shape that it once was which was a rectangle and then I can select different parts of that specific area and I can change those. So I have a bunch of options in terms of how I'm going to color my actual artwork. If this is what you're going to do, you just got to make sure that you're careful with it and you figure out exactly where you're going to color. All right, you can change up the color, it doesn't have to stay the same. And you can then start selecting different parts, changing those colors. Let's see change it to a blue and you don't have to just click individual parts you can actually click and drag and it will highlight the areas that it's going to change and then once you let go it'll change all of them or you can just double click and it will change big sections according to how much you're clicking or what's connected um, so let's go back if I were to click this yellow, it changes to blue. If I double click the yellow, or triple click, sorry, it changes all the yellow to blue. If I were to triple click the red, it changes all the red to blue. And for the purple, same thing, okay? Now, let's say we don't have anything here. Right now, if I wanted to select a portion, it's not selecting a portion, it's actually selecting the original shape as you can see but it just doesn't let me select that specific area now in order to do that you have the option to expand your live paint shape you can highlight all of it just by clicking on it or hovering and encompassing it in your marquee and then you can click expand and now you have the separated shapes that you can select and the little areas where they were bordering now have slight breaks in them sort of like if you were using the knife tool and if you're not familiar with that tool we did a tutorial on that and you can check that out too and you'll understand exactly what I mean by that so let's go back to our original shape that's how you essentially work with the live paint tool those are your options. That's how you can color it. And you don't have to have it selected in order to do this. You can just make sure you have your live paint tool 
on and then you can select the individual parts accordingly as you hover over them. The next thing you can do is you can go in and hold down and click on the live paint selection tool. This allows you to select various areas of your live paint and then you can delete them out without having to actually expand the shape. Or you can select it and recolor it. Anything that you want to do with it, it just allows you without expanding to select those particular shapes. Okay? Makes it pretty easy and pretty simple. And that's essentially how you work with your live paint tool. It's, it's fairly simple. Take the time, get familiar with it. Whenever you get a chance, go in, play around with a bunch of shapes. Uh, even if you have an illustration and you have some line work or some things like that, um, and there are different sections, maybe arms, legs, or tires, or a chassis on a vehicle, and you just want to paint them different colors, you can use the live paint tool to do so as well. Some people may desire to paint the shapes individually, but it can be time consuming, and a live paint tool will cut down a lot of time if you know how to use it properly. So play around with it, and again, get familiar, and then revisit this lesson to make sure you're on point with everything. And I'll have some new lessons coming in the future, and I look forward to seeing you there.